Hi, let us understand how scalability and availability will be achieved using the Docker and the need for having an orchestrator. As you might do have X number of systems and each having its own operating system and Docker configured and installed on top of each and every system. Assume I am going to deploy a container which is having an Apache. So HTTP Apache web server and that needs to be made highly available and scalable. For that we need to understand what is availability and scalability. First let's discuss about the scalability. Scalability is handling any amount of load. Assume I do have X amount of load and that can be handled with one container. If the load increases, I may have to create more containers to distribute the load. And the containers could be in the same system or I can go ahead and create more such containers across the system and load balance the load that are coming into it. So any load that is coming into the network, I will be sending it to the load balancer. And the load balancer will be distributing the load across different containers. And my load balancer will be knowing or I will be making such configurations within the load balancer saying where the containers are running and how it should be balanced. So this is the scalability. Depending on the load, I will be in a position to add more and more containers and distribute the load and handle the load. Same way if the load gets reduced, I will be destroying the containers which are not required. So dynamically, I will be increasing the capacity as well as decreasing the capacity. Now let's discuss about the availability. Availability is making sure that application is available even when there is a failure of a specific container or the host itself. Assume I do have this specific configuration where I have three hosts and the containers are distributed such a way two containers running in host 1 and one container running in host 3 and the load is distributed. In case if one container failed, I may have to start another container of the same type to balance the load. I can go ahead and start in some other host where enough space is available. By this way, I will be balancing the load and make sure X number of racket containers are running. In case if the entire host had failed, I will be starting the same container in the remaining system and make sure the load is distributed and the application is always available. I can have different hosts running across different network or even different cloud providers like some set of servers running in AWS and some set of servers running in Azure. This is about the availability. Here, making the containers deploying and uh, monitoring the containers running and making the high availability as well as the scalability, we have to do it manually. There is a need for monitoring the resources and the availability of the application and that particular layer is called an orchestrator. So I'll be having a virtual layer which can manage all the system or the host and monitor all the containers running across the system. So I will get to know what are all the containers running and where it is running and what is the requirement. Everything can be defined within this orchestrator. That's where the need for orchestrator coming into picture where I can manage all the containers across the organization irrespective of whether it is in thousands or even millions of containers can be managed using orchestrator. 